Our final inductee in the athletes category and the class of 2024 is Lindsay Whalen of Hutchinson. Before she became Minnesota's golden girl of basketball, Whalen excelled at any sport that was presented to her. That included tennis, hockey, and track and field. Of course, she would sneak into the school's gym after quickly eating lunch to get in as many shots as she could before classes resumed. Lindsay insists that she was shy in high school and sports allowed her to connect with friends and classmates. You know, basketball was my thing, sports was my thing. So I was like a ex very, very big sports fan. Um, you know, I had a really good group of, of girlfriends in high school and I was friends with a lot of the guys too because that's who I play pickup with. That's who I play one on one with. That's who I would just compete against. And so I think probably my freshman year when I ended up starting in var on varsity and was pretty good. You know, I think then there was, you know, probably a little more, um, you know, attention from classmates and people love sports, you know. So you're, and when you're good, you kind of, I guess, whatever, popularity stature is a little bit more and you have to come out of your shell a little bit more because you might have an interview every so often or you might um the, obviously there wasn't much for like tv or social media but you you do have to come out of your shell a little bit more and so so i guess yeah sports helped me do that but early on whalen was on a hockey path the legendary tale is that whalen had a close friend that played basketball and one weekend they were short a player for a tournament Whalen was asked to play. Always willing to compete, that day she traded in her skates for some sneakers, ended up playing three games, and was an instant sensation. I was the only girl in the whole program playing hockey. And I don't remember how it all worked out. It was obviously so long ago, but my, my best friend, um, her dad was our coach. And so I probably just hopped in the Suburban with them, went and played, and then I was just like hooked. In basketball, Whalen scored 1,996 points during her varsity career and had 21 triple-doubles. The Tigers made it into the section final three times but didn't advance to the state tournament. For four years, Hutchinson had standing room only crowds to see this ponytailed sensation play. It got to be where she was in seventh grade now. People were coming to watch the ninth grade basketball games. Uh, they were coming to watch this little girl play basketball. And so then there wasn't enough room. So then we started playing the ninth grade games here where more people could come watch. The question I get asked the most, well, how, how did Lindsay get so good? You know, I get, I get that, uh, that asked to me a thousand times. And I, you know, I always tell her, tell people jokingly, I said, well, her dad, dad was a goalie in hockey, so that's out. Um, but I go back to, uh, Lindsay's good because of Lindsay. She's not good because of me as her high school coach or Coach Borton or Coach Oldfield or whatever. Lindsay's good because of Lindsay. And Lindsay's good because she shoveled snow off the driveway to shoot hoops in the middle of the winter. Or she went up to the rec center and just played against the boys. Lindsay recalls an eye-opening revelation after a loss in the section final of her sophomore year. It was a time when she realized she had special basketball talents, but she wasn't about to get complacent. You know, my parents were complimentary of me, but that was the first time I remember being, I think I drove back with them in the car or just the next day. They were like, you could they were like, you're the best player on the floor. And they would, that was the first time and maybe one of the last times that they ever said that to me. Because, but I just kind of was like, oh, yeah, so it was, so it was good. I played well. And like, like yeah, you, you got to keep working though. You got to keep working. I did. Waylon more than blossomed when she moved on to play at the University of Minnesota. She exploded on the basketball court and became the Pied Piper of sorts in leading the Gophers to the Final Four and galvanizing an entire state through her play. Waylon is credited with a huge participation surge in girls wanting to play basketball. You know, I didn't have these big, 
you know, I, I knew I was good. I knew I was talented, but I didn't have these, oh, I'm going to play in the WNBA because there wasn't a WNBA, or I'm going to play in the, the Olympics, or, you know, it's not like I had this plan of, and then it just all was fulfilled. Like, I just hopefully was a good enough student and respected my teachers and respected everybody who worked at the school in a, in a good way and who just enjoyed, like, the day-to-day, -day, the experience, and... Um, and then just every step, every step of the way, I just got a little bit better. Wayland's basketball journey continued with four WNBA championships with the hometown Minnesota Lynx and as a two-time Olympic gold medal winner. She is considered the ultimate team leader. It's Lindsay's competitiveness, her heart, her courage, her work ethic, her ability to lead, uh, and she had that at a young age. She had that at a very young age uh, where she was, you know, as a ninth grader, she, you know, she was a stone cold killer uh, on the court as a ninth grader. She was, and she had that, but she carried that uh, with her in practice. Uh, she, she could take uh, a group of teammates and, you know, elevate their play, raise them to a level that they never thought that they could get to. You couldn't have ever written the script. Did we know or did I know Lindsay was special? Yeah, she was a special person. She was a special person. She was a fantastic basketball player, the greatest we've had here. She was. But she's also one of the greatest people we've ever had here too.